Welcome back, everyone. Today, we'll recap a 2021 Welsh fantasy horror film named The Feast. Before we start, it is a request to please like and comment on the video as it will help us to grow our reach. At the beginning of the movie, we are shown a wealthy family consisting of politician Gwyn, his wife Glenda, and their two adult sons, Guido and Gwerid. Here a girl named Caddy comes to their house, and Glenda takes her inside with her, and Guido accidentally drops an axe and cuts his foot. Glenda tells Caddy that they are hosting a dinner party, and she is expected to prepare the food, serve it, and clear the plates. She then takes her to the kitchen and asks her to set up the table. Now when she comes out to get the tablecloth, she sees Gwerid outside. Now she is laying the tablecloth when she hears a gunshot from outside, due to which she gets very scared. Just then Glenda comes there and sees that there is some stain on the tablecloth. She checks Caddy's hands but they are clean, and then she leaves there abusing the dry cleaner. Next, Weird sees her, and asks Glenda who she is, to which she tells him she is working for them tonight. Here we learn that Weird is training for a triathlon, and has an obsessive diet and regimen. After this, Glenda is cutting fruits, when she gives Caddy a piece of mango to eat. She tells her that Guido used to love this stuff when he was little. She also tells her that her husband is a member of parliament. Naturally, they spend most of the year in London, but they return regularly. Just then a splash of fruits goes in her eye and Gwen also comes there. Katie gets scared seeing him, and he says that he doesn't know why she needs help to prepare supper for seven people. He slams the two hunted rabbits on the table, and we see Katie running away. There she meets Gwerit, and she tells him that he shot two rabbits. Gwerit tells her that he will be boasting about this for weeks, and that his father enjoys killing innocent creatures. Next, we see Glenda skinning the rabbits, and asking Caddy if she is familiar with the job. She sees that her clothes are dirty, so she tells her there is a white blouse in her wardrobe she can borrow. Now later Gwen meets Caddy, and says he is sorry if he scared her earlier, and asks her if they can be friends. But she leaves without saying anything, and Gwen experiences sudden pain and noise. Later, Caddy is humming a song, when Glenda comes there and asks her where did she hear that. Her mother used to sing this song. Then both of them start singing that song together, and only then Gwen comes there. Next, we see Gwen and Guido talking, where we learn that Guido is a drug addict, and that's why his parents keep him away from London, so that he can quit his drug addiction. Now later we see Glenda getting ready, after which she goes to Gwerid's room. But she sees that he is not in his room, and this upsets her a bit. She asks Caddy if she saw Gwerid, to which she says no, and then she starts looking for him, and Gwen again experiences sudden pain and noise. We then see Gudo and Caddy talking, where Gudo asks her if she has any drugs to help him get through the party. She takes him into the forest and helps him pick psychoactive mushrooms. Next, one of their guests named Euros arrives there, he sees Caddy and asks her if Gwyn knows she is slacking, and suddenly a bottle of wine explodes in his hand. Just then Gwyn comes out to receive him, and asks Caddy to clean up the mess. Afterward, Caddy picks up a piece of broken glass, and appears to insert it into her vagina. Now she serves Euro's canapé, and he picks one up and eats it. Then they all sit down and talk, and Gwyn tells him that he has shot two rabbits for dinner. Here Gudo comes to Gwyrd's room and asks him to join the party. Guido tells him that he saw him in the forest, and asks him if she let him touch her. Guido finds his words nonsense so he leaves from there. And outside we see that while eating food, some hair comes out of Euro's mouth. Now later Gwen and Euro's are talking about work, where Euro's tells him that one of his workers got sick at a site this morning. The drill went deeper than usual, and they discovered a cave there, although there is no record of caves in this area. They are organizing a team of climbers to go there to find out more and this site is 23 meters from the border, between their land and Laurie and Mare's farm. Basically, all this work was illegal, and Gwen was helping him with this for money. Then Mare also comes there, and they all come out to receive her. Gwen introduces her and Euros, and Glenda asks her about her husband Laurie. She explains that he has been delayed by an emergency, an unknown person drove into a nearby lake, and he is helping to retrieve the car. 
Then Glinda calls Caddy to take Mare's coat and she introduces Mare to Caddy. And here we come to know that both of them already know each other. After this, when she is taking food out of the refrigerator, seeing the raw meat, she vomits. On the other hand, Guido's foot injury was getting worse, so he eats mushrooms to ease the pain. Here we come to know that Caddy's father was working with the company building the wind turbines. He was carrying parts on his lorry when the brakes failed. Just then, Guirid comes there. And here we learn that he has given up being a doctor to compete in a triathlon. Glenda then takes Mare to show her house. Caddy, no longer needed, walks back into the forest and lays down in the grass, smiling as vines and flowers come alive and encircle her body, suggesting that her connection with nature is a magical one. The atmosphere at the party is awkward. Mare is polite but put off by Glenda's behavior. Guiri casts out on his father's recent health scare embarrassing him in front of the guests. Guido expresses disgust at Guirid's raw meat diet, and his parents order him to leave the table. He goes back to his room, mixes the remaining mushrooms, and injects it into his body. The party's true purpose is then revealed. Gwyn, Glenda, and Euros all hope to convince Mare to allow exploratory drilling and mining on her land. Suddenly, Guirid starts choking, and seeing this, Caddy immediately comes to help him, and she takes out the meat from his throat. After this, Glenda goes to Caddy and says thanks for the help. She then asks her to take a plate for Guido and tells her that she will get a bonus for everything she has done for them tonight. Then she accidentally lifts the hot tray which burns her hand, and she sees a trail of mud on the floor. Here, when Caddy goes to Guido's room, he is in a lot of pain and he asks her for help. She tears his pant and sees that his entire leg has become necrotic and infested with maggots, and then she starts licking it. Then when she comes out, Glenda is serving food to everyone. Gwen calls Caddy and tells everyone that she sings very well. He forces her to sing, but he experiences sudden pain and noise, and Caddy leaves there. Guirid also comes out and asks her what's wrong. She turns around and hugs him and then starts kissing him. Then she says something in his ear and they leave from there. Here in the house, Glenda tells Mare about a painting which is actually a map of the place. She also shows her the area of her farm known as the Rise where they want to do mining and drilling. But Mare points out this is the reputed resting place of a goddess in local folklore. Children are warned to avoid it. Even adults refuse to disturb it for fear of waking her. Mare is horrified by the suggestion of mining the rise and turns them down. Glenda accuses her of believing in superstition. Caddy leads Guir to the rise, where Guido lies helplessly on the ground. Guir gets shocked to see Guido there and says they have to call an ambulance. But Caddy tells him it's too late and he will die if he doesn't help him. She pressures him into cutting off the leg and killing his brother with an axe. And before dying, Guido reveals that Guirid raped a number of comatose female patients. Caddy then has sex with Guirid immediately after Guido's death, and he is killed by the sharp piece of glass still hidden in her vagina. Back at the house, Glenda sees her mother's spirit, but there is no one there when she comes out. That's when she sees that Mare is back and she gets very happy to see her. Mare tells her that the car found in the pond was Caddis. She and Glenda realize the woman in her house is the goddess of the rise, possessing Caddis' drowned corpse. The goddess returns to the house, and we see her taking out vegetables from a skewer. Here suddenly Gwen starts having pain again and he crawls out of the room. And we see goddess walking towards him with that skewer. Here we see Euros eating the food on the table. Just then Glenda comes there and asks him if he saw Caddy, to which he says no, and that the food is delicious. She picks up a knife and leaves from there. She then starts looking for Caddy in the house, and gets shocked to see blood on Guido's bed. We then see the goddess lays Gwyn's head on her lap and sing a lullaby, and then she kills him by inserting that skewer into his ear. Here Glenda finds a dress in her room. She wears that dress, and soon after, in an apparent trance, she butchers Guido's body and serves it to the similarly entranced Euros, who is eating leftovers from the feast like a dog. Now after some time when Glenn comes to his senses, he sees Glenda pointing a shotgun at him. She puts the barrel in his mouth and asks him, After you've taken everything, what will be left? She then pulls the trigger and kills him, after which she slits her own throat. The goddess then collects all the bodies and burns them, and then returns home to the rise. Please like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon never to miss new video updates. Thanks for watching.